Arsenal legends. Emmanuel Petit recommends two players Arsenal should sign this summer. Football Dad's Army, so I'm looking around social media today, looking at all these different apps, looking for some something to talk about uh, regarding Arsenal. When I see something uh, on the One Football app, and it was Arsenal former Arsenal midfielder uh, Emmanuel Petit recommending two players that Arsenal should sign this summer. One being Nico Williams, Atletico Bilbao, Spanish wonder kid, left winger. He can play on the right as well, but he's predominantly a left winger. And the other, I mean, there's been speculation about this striker um, earlier on in the transfer window, earlier on in the summer, or just after the season ended, really. I think it was as Napoli's Victor Oshiman. Now, I think that would be a brilliant signing for Arsenal. I'd love it. I love Arsenal to sign Victor Osserman, and I know we've already tried to get a striker. Benjamin Sesko's decided to stay put at his, at his club he's at at the moment. I can't remember the club he's at, to be fair. Never really heard anything about uh, Sesko before we was linked with him. Uh, but Victor Osserman, obviously, everyone has heard as Victor Osserman. I mean, he didn't have the greatest season at Napoli last year, but the year before that, I mean, he was hot, hot property, wasn't he? He stayed at Napoli. May there may be a, a release clause in his in his contract, so I'm not sure exactly what that would be, but it would be quite a lot of money. I reckon it's gonna be nearing the eighty to ninety million for Victor Osserman. But uh, Nico Williams, apparently he's got a release clause in his contract, which is fifty million euros. Or around that figure. Fifty I think that would be an absolute bargain. I know that uh, we've already got uh, two players on that left-hand side with Martinelli and the Andro Trossard. But, you know, he can play also play on the right, so he can be utilised on both sides. Any injuries, uh, Bukayo Saka might be able to get a break at some point next season if we sign a player like Nico Williams. I know every player, especially at their age, every player wants to play every minute of every game. They love football. And that is all they want to do. But, you know, sometimes you do need a little break because of burnout. Might get a little knock. I mean, he's kicked, he's kicked to shit by Kai Yusaka, really, in the Premier League. He gets he gets kicked to shit. But he's so robust. He's made a good stern stuff, Saka. And, you know, he, he generally plays most of the fixtures. It takes a lot for him to get injured. But I would still like to see some some respite for him next year. Not Not... You don't want to see these players burn themselves out. And, you know, towards the end of the last two seasons that we finished runners-up in, he has seemed to drop off the pace a little bit towards the end of the campaigns. And that is a worry. But bringing in someone like Nico Williams would be ideal. And, um, you know, I would support that one, the Nico Williams one. I do like Xavi Simmons as well, though. He scored a brilliant, brilliant goal against England in that semi-final uh, on Wednesday night. And I think he's a fantastic player. That's a player that I would be looking at. He can play all across that midfield front three. He can play as a 10 as a, on the left and on the right. So that for me, that could be a player I'd be looking at as well. But if you've got uh, world-class, ex-world-class players endorsing, endorsing, yeah, like Nico Williams, as with Emmanuel Petit saying it, I think... Um, could be a good signing there and and the Victor Osman one I agree with that one as well I think Victor Osman would cause any defence any central defenders any centre halves some major major problems as well so I think that would be good and it's good competition for Kai Havertz and Jesus Jesus has probably seen his last days I think Jesus is going to be leaving I mean I don't I don't know for sure but I mean the frustrations with him it was coming to light in last season with the injury problems and a lack of form. And I know he's got everything else but finishing ability. You know, he's not a deadly enough finisher for me. He can pull defences all over the place and hold the ball up well and lay other players off. But 
We need someone who can score goals as well. I know we've scored plenty of goals, really and truly. I said it back in January that Arsenal should be looking to sign a striker, but we did. We scored plenty of goals without a recognised number nine striker, really, uh, last season. But to get that extra, that little bit extra, to be to get a striker, a deadly finisher, you know, that could be the key that unlocks the title for Arsenal. And also, we definitely need another central midfield player. Martin Zuber Mendy has been has been um, spoke about quite a lot. Uh, I'm not sure who they're going to go for. I mean, I don't. I haven't really seen a lot of these central midfield players, defensive midfield players, six or eight or whatever you want to call them. I haven't. I haven't really seen a lot of them in, in the foreign leagues. But you know, Bruno Gamera is is probably. The one I would choose now, um, you know, uh, Douglas Louise was would have been a great choice for us. Would have been formidable there with Declan Rice, but as you know, um, he's gone elsewhere. And I, I, I do believe that Bruno Gomez and Declan Rice would form a partnership. Premier League ready player as well, Bruno Gomez. And I, I, I think. I've got just got a feeling about that, that player and and playing in central midfield with with Rice and swapping the the eight and the six role between the pair of them. I think that would be ideal. It would remind me of the Vieira and Petit or Vieira and uh, Gilberto Silva role they played for for Arsenal in the heyday in Arsenal Wenger's prime. And uh, when we was winning titles and FA Cups on a regular basis. So let me know what you think in the comments there. Think, do you think Emmanuel Petit's got a point? Do you think, yeah, go for uh, Nico Williams. Get Victor Osserman. We can make us a player now. Uh, a player as well would be, for me, Bruno Gamirez. It looks like the Calafiore deal is going to close very soon as well. So we've addressed... The defensive, another defensive problem that we had. He can play left back as well as left sided centre of centre back. So we were addressing that left sided problem. Um, Timber is going to be coming back from injury. So we were addressing that defensive problem. We do, because Thomas Party is probably going to be leaving, unfortunately, as well. Thomas Party is probably going to be going to Saudi, I believe. I, I'm hearing rumours about him going to, to Saudi. So, you know. We need something in, in that midfield to replace him. We do know that um, Harry Dornan is left at the end of his deal. He's not he's not going to be staying much longer. We do know that Sambi Laconga is probably going out on loan again. And, uh, you know, we need we do need some midfielders in there. So, uh, for me, at least Bruno Gamera's just get a, get a star one. Get a star studded one and then get maybe, you know... Uh, Someone who's happy to sit on the bench and step in if need be, like Mohamed Al Nani was that sort of style of player, if you know what I mean. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Stick a like on the video, and I'll see you soon.